People often ask me how I got into wanting to make the world a better place. So I'm going to tell you a story. When I was a, a teenage boy, uh, all of a sudden it, it hit me that being angry and not being friends with everybody, surely there was a better way. Almost immediately as I started thinking to myself, what could the world be like? My mind just got creative. I didn't think of step by step how can I change my life. I just jumped straight to what would the world be? How is it meant to be is how I started it. I asked myself that question. And I felt, I saw I experienced a world where, where we're all nice and we're all concerned for each other and everyone is encouraged to do the best they can and in our lives there's always some way to go for every good idea you have. There's always someone to help you make it come true. I was thinking of the lonely people, the unhappy people. And how can we how can we fix that? It's not the way the world's supposed to be. And I remember just calling out to myself, if there's any way of making a difference, I'll do it. If there's any way to make myself happy and complete and full, I'll do it. And then over the next few days, I felt myself transforming. Sitting in my room, and all of a sudden, I had this experience. Perhaps my subconscious had figured it out. Perhaps it was a vision from an angel. I don't even know if I believe in angels. But it was such an intense experience. All of a sudden, my room was gone. And I was in this enormous world. There was nothing in the world apart from this swirling ball of energy in front of me. It was kind of shaped like a brain. And it was grey and dull. And there were millions and millions of little swirls going through this, this ball. And I just understood that I was looking at a person's mind. Each one of those swirls was a different feeling, a different part of a person, the way they feel about this, the way they act there. And it was not a very inspiring image. And I was, as I was watching these balls, these little parts of a person, I'd watch every now and then, two balls would come together, they'd mix up and they'd go out and be different parts. And I, and I started to consider, yeah, people are constantly changing. That's one thing about this swirl. They were all constantly swirling, it was constantly moving. And I realised that people are just so many different parts of themselves, swirling and changing and becoming new constantly. And there were some little parts in the swirls that were brighter. You know, the parts the beautiful words that you hear when you're growing up or something. And as they were going around, every now and then they'd interact with other parts of the mind and they were, then you'd have two nice parts travelling around. So I guess that was, as we grow, we, we integrate or we embrace these, these good parts more and more as part of ourself. So this mind was becoming more brighter and nicer. But still, the predominant experience of this mind was sort of grey and just travelling through life. And all of a sudden, this comet of bright, 
white, yellow light zoomed from the edge of my experience and crashed into the middle of this ball. It was so beautiful and exploding out of where that comet had landed, there was so many bright, really bright, rainbow coloured balls moving faster through the rest of the mind than the rest of it put together. And these bright parts as they moved through made me feel awesome. They were inspiring. It was the epitome of happiness and joy and caring and, and intelligence and creativity and community just zipping through the mind in these bright balls. And as they zoomed through, they were crashing into all of the grey parts of the mind and then zipping out in, in more colours and more brightness. And you could see that the inspiration was growing. And then every now and then, these inspired bright parts would crash into each other and then they'd explode out as even more inspired creative parts. And slowly the mind became brighter and faster and you can imagine with, with a number of, of these bright inspiring parts crashing and becoming more, then as there was more of them then they'd be crashing even more so that the mind was being drawn more and more into beauty and, and in excitement and enthusiasm and goodness. And it, you could just see that the mind had no option more but to become better and better. As there was more goodness, it, it just automatically, there was more sparks and more explosions. It was like exponential creativity and, and goodness and growing just brighter and the swirls were becoming faster and it was glowing more and eventually I couldn't even see any more grey. The whole thing was just colours and swirls and brightness. And the, it got to the point where the mind was just so overflowing with energy and it was so fast that the mind exploded out. This, this light just got so explosive that my whole experience just became the light of that comment. It got bigger and bigger until eventually it was the size of the world. And then my mind seemed to experience as big as I could possibly experience all glowing with goodness. And I, came, I will open my eyes, I was lying on my back on the floor and when this had started I was, I was sitting up and I lost total track of where I was and purely experiencing goodness and how it can take over us and I came to completely washed in this goodness and I, I just remember my first thoughts, I have to find out what that comment is.